Miss Espana Reno for Palumbo. Since 2004, the University of Arizona Vegetable IBM team has annually surveyed PCAs and growers to document insect pest activity and pesticide usage in Arizona lettuce through interactive workshops. We will be holding the 2014 Lettuce Insect Disease and Weed Losses Workshop next Thursday, April 24th at the Yuma Agricultural Center beginning at noon. Lunch will be provided at no cost. The information provided by PCAs and growers during these workshops can be very useful to the lettuce industry. First, the data can be extremely helpful in addressing state and federal regulatory issues by providing real-world information on insect pest status and insecticide usage. In the past, data generated from the surveys has been used to support registration of key insecticide products like Lanate. Secondly, from an academic perspective, the results of these surveys provide us with a historic record of insect occurrences which allows us to prioritize some of our research and educational activities. Over the years, insecticide usage data has provided valuable support for grant proposals. Finally, and perhaps most importantly for PCAs, it can translate their efforts into economic terms for their growers and confirms their value to the lettuce industry by showing the importance of key insect pests in their cost-effective management and desert lettuce production. For example, survey results from the Lettuce Insect Losses and Insecticide Use Summary 2004-2013 shows that on average, number one, costs associated with pest management fees have increased steadily where the cost of scouting and making management decisions by PCAs are well over $20 per acre. Two, lips, aphids, and thrips are the most important economic pests in fall and spring lettuce. And three, the use of older, broadly toxic insecticides, organophosphate, scabamate, and desulfan, has dropped significantly, whereas use of newer, softer, reduced risk chemistries like radium, imidacloprid, and diamides continues to increase. Of course, PCAs already know this, but these surveys document this information for those less involved with the day-to-day -day activities of IPM in desert lettuce. Hopefully, PCAs and growers see the value in this process and will join us next week at 2014 Lettuce Insect Diseases Weed Losses Workshop. See you there.